Halifax speaking with Neil Young this morning from Alexa Energy on Just Talks. Neil, morning. Morning. It's, it's a great day to be with you, Andrew. Hey, great update uh, from Alexa Energy this morning, Neil. An operations update here on the grandest project in Queensland. Uh, highly encouraging initial flow test results. Give us a bit of, bit of detail. OK, so uh, investors might recall at the end of last year when we were drilling this well, we got an unexpected flow of gas without stimulation into the well. Um, and what we have done recently is that following a recent testing operation, we decided to try and flow that without stimulation. Um, that uh, was no uh, sure thing. This had to lift 4,200 metres of water. It did that effectively, then it flowed. And key thing is it flowed on a sustainable, stabilised rate for many hours. And this, tell us a bit more, Neil, about the Laurel sandstone itself. So that, that's a sandstone which ex extends quite uh, pervasively across this uh, Tarum Trough region uh, of, of the Deep Bowen Basin. Um, that was the source of the kick of gas and now the source of the sustained flow rate and uh, a flow rate in this region which will only be enhanced by stimulation in this zone and in, in multiple other zones. And Neil, you mentioned in the announcement here, this is the deepest unstimulated flow of gas in onshore Australia, east of Perth. Yeah, it's um, uh, uh, not. We're not guaranteeing that, but our team are pretty knowledgeable, and we've we've scoured our memories with respect to the Cooper Basin, Queensland, everything we can think of. Now, the Perth Basin has has beaten this uh, in recent years. It's been fabulous there. But to our, our knowledge, this is the deepest one apart from that. And to, to be achieved by a small junior company is a real credit to, to our technical team. So you could be looking at the start of a whole new gas play in Australia. Uh, ex exactly. The, everyone's known that there are many, many tens of TCS ga gas in place in the deep part of this uh, Bowen Basin. The key has been how to get it out. And uh, now we're well on the pathway to getting it out commercially. Our neighbours are pursuing uh, similar but, but slightly different plans. And uh, Australia is imminently in need of gas. It's going to face a gas shortfall in, in, in potentially months in Victoria. Uh, the liquefaction plants in Gladstone need more gas. So location is fabulous. Prices are high. Uh, and the flow rates uh, are very, very encouraging to put us on that path to commerciality very, very soon. And you mentioned that your neighbours in the area. These are names we'd recognise. Absolutely. So Shell is partway through a programme which we estimate to be costing at least $100 million. That builds upon $300 million that they spent about 10 years ago. Santos are due to drill a well within a year. We have another ASX peer called Omega who've been, who've been drilling and plan to drill later this year. If you add it all up, it is a half billion dollars plus going into this play, which shows you know, conviction across various types of companies, but critically big ones, you know, who we need to ultimately take these forward to the multi-billion dollar uh, development phase, which uh, hopefully will come in the not too distant future. So Daydream 2, Neil, that's now shut in, is it? It's now shut in within within the next few weeks. Uh, our, the um, stimulation fleet from Halliburton will arrive. We'll stimulate six separate zones, including the one that just flowed. Uh, we will then test it in, in and around May, uh, get an aggregate flow test. And uh, so it's clearly not far away to that day. Um, we believe that the industry has been and now will be watching us even more closely. The, as I say, the location is fabulous and the results combined with that location are enormously encouraging. And interestingly, you're making some early thinking and early planning towards Daydream 3, are you? No, exactly. You know, we, we don't want to rest on our laurels for multiple reasons. Uh, this uh, uh, vertical well has, has so far been very successful. We are considering a deviated well that is going down and then going at, say, a 60 degree angle to get access to multiple reservoirs, but more of them. Um, this pad has has you know, withstood stronger weather conditions recently. It's got water supplies. We've got a good local community relationship, etc. So that that's one one early stage planning. But the ultimate results in the next few weeks uh, will will drive what we do next. Uh, great to see you, Neil. Thanks for your time on Just Docs. Thank you very much.